hello beauties welcome back to my channel is your first time stopping back to my channel my name is asneke so today we are going to be achieving this lovely diy gorgeous braid tiny braid using expression braid the air in color 30 guys 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 if you want to achieve this kind of hair style i would advise you the amount of hair you should get but let's keep on going on with this tutorial before we go into that so you can see what i did now i use my headband you can purchase this headband online so i place it on the wig cap on my mannequin head use a pin to secure it down then i start sewing The method I'm using to sew, you will never know that I sew this with my hand. You're going to think I sew it with a machine and you, you won't even see the sewing thread at all at all. So guys, if you're a new subscriber, thank you so, so much for subscribing to this amazing channel. I know we have a lot of amazing people now. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. I really appreciate it so much. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back to watch my video. I really appreciate it. And if you've not subscribed, please, 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 can you click on that subscribe button? So because of the length I want, I did cut two. I cut the hair into two. I didn't even remember that when I was getting this expression at store. I didn't remember that I want a very long length. I was like, three pack would be okay. Three pack would be okay if you did the cut into cut three. But because I did cut two, the three pack was not okay. So I, I have to mix with another air. Keep on watching, you understand what I'm trying to say. So I brushed the air, I brushed it very well after I finished brushing the hair. Make sure you brush to detangle it. Make sure you brush to make your braid come out so neat. Then I use a chalk as I do do. You know, if you are not a new sorry, if you are not new to this channel, you know it now. You know what we do. So after I'm done doing that on my cap, then I start braiding. So I braid, sorry, <laughs> I crochet with a tiny amount of hair. The main reason why I didn't braid that red. Remember, this is headband wig. This is not a closure of frontal wig. If I didn't use another strand of hair to braid, that black holes of the cap I crochet into is going to show. So make sure you use a little quantity of amount of hair to crochet first, then take another quantity amount of hair you want to braid. That will make your work so neat and it is going to come out so natural. So guys, as I was saying about the pack of hair you should get, if you want to achieve this kind of length I achieve, if you want to achieve this kind of length size you need to get five pack of braiding air yes sis. you need to get five pack of expression braiding air or darling braiding air if the air is two pack inside you don't need to get five but the air i got is only one air inside so you need to get five pack you will finish that five pack you are going to be needing like four pack and a little bit but you need to get five pack so that you'll be on the saver side i really wanted this air to be one color with a touch of light color but still the air still came out more beautiful as i wanted so you can see that my space 
it's not really a lot the way i space my hand out is not really a lot because one is an headband wig two is a tiny braid wig so i didn't really leave a lot of space so that i'll be able to cover the cap So at this stage, I've already used color 35 at the back to make sure the hair is full. So now I'm working with color 30 and color 35. I already used color 35 at the top part, then color 30 at the down part. So I close it up with one pack of color 30 I have. Please, you can follow me on my Instagram at SinekeSikiru. I really appreciate that and I'm, I'm on TikTok also so I appreciate that So when you get to the top part, make sure your hands are very close to each other so that you can cover all the space we left at the back. Make sure your hands are very, very close to each other. That will make your work to be easy and it will make the cap to show. So at this stage guys, at that front, I won't lie, I will tell you guys the truth, I ran out of hair. But I had it in mind to add a little tone of color to it. But do you see those front line, like let me say 
six braids to seven braids i had to take out some braid from the back which i hate doing when i'm braiding i hate that so much because one you'll be tired easily with the work you're doing then two oh god it's stressful don't try it guys so always make sure to get extra hair when you want to braid your wig or hairs that alone can make you to be tired so after i'm done with that i'll cut off the excess wig cap i'll cut it off this wig came out so flawless so beautiful <laughs> I'll cut it off, I'll cut the excess off, but I didn't cut the, how I put it, the elastic band holding the wig because I needed to secure my wig because this wig is so long, only the end band cannot secure it. So we need a band inside to secure it, so I didn't cut that side off. Then I threw on my head band to make it look so beautiful to make it look so amazing to make it come out to add beauty to it to make it you understand all those nice nice beautiful words you know <laughs> the final look oh my god this hair is a vibe this hair is on point i even came outside for you to see the length how it looks like thank you so much for watching see my next video stay blessed always